Hello students. So we are con we are continuing with the chapter motion in one dimension class nine physics. So earlier we have uh, I have explained about the some of the terms of that. Now we are coming to speed. First of all, what is speed over here? Speed equals to distance travelled per unit time. Means how much distance it is travelling in a particular unit of time that is called speed. Speed is a scalar quantity, and the SI unit of speed is meter per second. Okay, if we will count for the CGS unit, then it will be centimeter per second. Okay, these are the units. So we are having different types of speed. So first of all, we are coming to non-uniform speed. So what is non-uniform speed? Non-uniform speed means a body is traveling unequal distance in equal interval of time. As you can see over here, unequal distance in equal interval of time. I I said that a, when a body is traveling unequal distance in equal interval of time. Like for example, I would like to tell when you are moving in a traffic, means when you are driving your car or when you are riding your bicycle in a traffic road. So sometimes your speed increases, sometimes you stops, sometimes again you increase your speed. So speed is changing at every instant or with the time. Um, we are when we are keeping the time constant, then also the speed is change changing. Okay, in every time interval, that is called non-uniform speed. Now we are coming to uniform speed. Uniform speed equals to equal distance in equal interval of time. When we are traveling equal distance, means for the first second we have traveled five meter in one one second. In second second also we are traveling five meter. In third second also we are traveling five meter. So five meter per second. That is the uniform speed. Means equal distance in equal interval of time. For example, when we are traveling uh, driving a car on a highway, there we don't need to turn. There we don't need to apply brake every time. So for an instant means we are moving in a uniform speed. Clear. So coming to the next point that is called instantaneous speed. Instantaneous speed is that the speed in any of the particular instant means we are traveling from here to Jamshedpur, Chaiwasar to Jamshedpur when we are traveling. So at every instant means every particular time interval we are having different different speeds. So that particular speed in a, any particular time. Okay, that particular time can be of five second, ten second, one minute, two minute. So that is called instantaneous speed. Clear with this? If you are coming to the average speed, again, average speed is the total distance traveled by the total time taken. Means when we are traveling, if suppose from Chaiwasa to Ranchi when we are moving, so we are having, we are going, and what is the total distance? Okay. Total distance, if suppose it is 140 kilometer, and time it is taking somehow four hour, five hour, whatever. So we will divide that with particular time interval. Then we will get the average speed. Average speed is giving the total means it is the ratio of the total distance by the total time taken. Okay. Now we are coming to velocity. So what is velocity? Velocity is the distance traveled per unit time in a specified direction. In any of the direction it is traveling, that is called that uh, velocity. So in velocity, what is the thing now? It is same as the speed, but only the direction is included over here. Means here we need that distance traveled per unit time with direction. Okay, as a, well as means we tell that magnitude with that direction. Again, now we are coming to the SI unit. SI unit of that velocity equals to meter per second, and CGS unit equals to centimeter per second. One thing is that velocity is a vector quantity. As Earlier I explained that vector quantity is the quantity which is having magnitude as well as direction both. So that's why we are including direction in that velocity. So now we are coming to non-uniform velocity. So in non-uniform velocity, unequal distance in equal interval of time in a particular direction. When a body is traveling in a particular direction and travels unequal distance in equal interval of time, that is called non-uniform velocity. One more definition we can. Tell it like this also. Equal distance in equal interval of time, but its direction is continuously changing. So, if suppose, for example, of this, if we are holding one what uh, stone tied with a string, okay, it is rotating in any particular direction. If suppose it is rotating in this particular direction, the stone is changing its direction at every instant. If you will take that direction over here, then it will be the tangent at that particular instant. Here we will take then. It is always changing the direction, so we can tell that it is a non-uniform velocity. One more example we can consider that if we are throwing one ball towards the sky, okay. So what will happen? The ball will starts means uh, get means starts 
being slow or ball will drop its speed at particular time means every second okay means slowly the speed of the ball will decrease and it will reach to the maximum height where its velocity will be zero after that it will starts falling down so this is also the example of non uniform velocity again now we are coming to uniform velocity uniform velocity means equal distance in equal interval of time in a particular direction means when a body is traveling in a particular direction and we are counting that equal distance in equal interval time what how much distance it is traveling in the first second in second second also it is traveling in the, the same distance third second also traveling the same distance this is called uniform velocity now we are coming to instantaneous velocity instantaneous velocity is the velocity measured in a particular time interval if suppose a body is having motion for or moving in a particular velocity with means uh, with different different velocity for one hour okay if we count that what is the velocity at 5 second that is the velocity of that particular instant what is the velocity at after 10 minute so just after 10 minute that is the velocity at that particular this is called instantaneous velocity now average velocity average velocity is the displacement by total time taken if suppose one thing i am telling uh, when a body starts moving from here body travel this particular direction again this direction this direction this like this body kept kept on traveling and finally it reached to this particular point so this is the distance the path along which it traveled but here for average velocity what we will do we will find the displacement of the body divided by the total time taken that is called the average velocity over here so now we are coming to acceleration and retardation so first of all what is acceleration rate of change of velocity with time means rate of change of velocity is changing but here what is happening the velocity is increasing that is called acceleration when this particular velocity will keep on decreasing then it is called retardation means the rate of change of velocity means when the velocity is decreasing with respect to time that we call that retardation as uh, acceleration is the vector quantity si unit for acceleration equals to meter per second square and cgs equals to centimeter per second square so we are having two types of acceleration over here so one is the uniform acceleration and the second is variable acceleration for uniform acceleration equal change in velocity take place in equal interval of time means the body is changing the velocity equally in equal interval of time if suppose a body is traveling okay in first second the body is having velocity if suppose 2 meter per second okay velocity body is having the velocity 2 meter per second okay in the second second the body is having velocity equals to 4 meter per second and third second the body is having 6 meter per second velocity so what is the here we are having the difference of 2 2 2 all the way everywhere this is called uniform here i have written the time in second clear with this and this is the velocity i have given over here here we are having time and here we are having velocity in this particular table so when a body is going in this particular case okay means for first second it is having 2 meter per second velocity i am talking about velocity over here in second second the body is having 4 meter per second velocity and third second body is having 6 meter and so on so this is called what uniform acceleration now we are coming to variable acceleration if change in velocity is not same in same interval of time means here we were having that change in velocity was same 2 meter all over here also 2 meter per second here also 2 meter per second okay but if we are taking that when the change in velocity is not same if suppose here um, in the first second the body is having 2 meter per second in the second second the body is having 5 meter per second in the third it is body is having 7 meter per second okay what is happening here the change is of 3 meter per second okay here is the change is of 2 so this is called variable acceleration so acceleration is varying at every instant okay every second it is varying or every particular time interval it is varying that is called variable acceleration so coming to that acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity is that when a body falls freely under gravity the acceleration produced is called uh, in a body is called acceleration due to gravity if suppose i am holding this particular pen and if i leave this particular pen the pen will fall down okay this is just due to acceleration due to gravity like this when it is falling from here then it is going down so what is happening i have dropped it from here i have not applied any of the force in that but due to the pull of earth or the earth attraction which is called gravity okay due to that gravity the pen started moving downward okay with the 
acceleration of 9.8 meter per second square okay this is the acceleration over here this is called acceleration due to gravity in some of the cases we take that consider the acceleration that is equals to 10 meter per second also so this is called the acceleration and you are very clear with the retardation when the means velocity is decreasing with the with respect to time that is called retardation so go through this and complete your notes about this okay thank you